back to my channel and if you're new here hi welcome my name is Ella I film fun college lifestyle and beauty videos and today I wanted to show you guys all of the products that I use in my hair care routine as a competitive swimmer and just someone who spends a ton of time outside in the ocean the river the lake I'm outside in the water all of the time and I want to talk to you guys about all of the products that help me keep my hair super healthy and allowed it to grow so yeah if you guys want to see that make sure and watch today's video if you guys want to see more of me make sure to subscribe down below and if you like today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up so let's go ahead and jump into today's video hey guys so a little background on me i have just been in love with the sport of swimming since i was about six years old i joined my neighborhood summer league team and then i joined my club team and then high school and now i do my college club team i just have absolutely loved it i all through high school and intermediate and even some points in elementary i would be in the pool about two to even four hours a day doing two a days i like my hair has been through the ringer like swimming is one of the hardest sports on your hair and your skin so these are just products that I 100% love and swear by that have just helped me keep my hair as healthy as possible especially with I live in a community that is very water-based like we have a boat we live right next to the lake and then my college is literally on a river and I'm always out swimming in the river and my club team even does river practices so I'm just always in the water always in the sun so my hair has been through the ringer and these are just products that I love so I want to show you and I hope that you guys um, will love too and I want this video to be really informative and really helpful so yeah um, my first products is they're a little new on the market but I love them so far I've been using them for a couple weeks maybe about a month now this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Hoya, but it's J-O-I-A. Isn't like a J and H in Spanish? I'm not sure. Um, feel free to correct me in the comments nicely because I don't know. But um, these are what they look like. They're amazing. I love them. Um, this is the shampoo and conditioner. They are a little pricey. So a alternative for this um, that I used all through high school was the for Kai shampoo and conditioner I'll make sure and link them down below and you can get those on Amazon and I believe at Target um this you can get at Sephora I love it um they smell so good this is the brand that did the like literally worldwide famous like Brazilian bum bum cream and they have the Charosa Charosa I believe it's called Charosa candle that's like super famous I love it I have their perfume and it smells just like it. It's amazing. It smells so good. I love it. This stuff is super um, nourishing. I've definitely noticed my hair feels so soft when I use it when I get out of the shower. It's so soft, especially or if I'm taking a bath and I want to let the conditioner sit for a while. Amazing. I love it. I highly recommend, but I do understand it's pricey, so I also will link alternatives down below. Love it and cannot say enough good things about this. Um, and my next product is the this is the alterna kenda oil dry oil mist this is the ultimate frizz control throughout swimming and just being always in the water i noticed my hair would start to get breakage and start to just kind of break apart and i would get so many split ends and um especially like in the peak of like swim season and stuff um just being in the pool like doing two days and dry lands and just always like being in chlorine my hair was so damaged and um this helped so much um this is much more of like a kind of looks like product not so much as a um like nourishing kind of situation this is really good if you have dry hair and um you're going to either heat style it or you're um, going to put it just up in a bun, just being out and about. It helps tame flyaways on another level. It's amazing. It is so good. Um, it is a dry oil, so I really recommend using this with dry hair. It is really good. I love it. Clearly, there is so much gone out of this bottle. but um, And it's free of parabens and synth synthetic color. Um, so if you have... Um, like blonde hair it's not gonna like tint it or anything or if you have black hair it's not gonna show up like white in your hair it's amazing this is really good um but this is definitely more of like a aesthetics product but i really like it 
um, and then a oil that is very nourishing this is the Sephora coconut oil you can get any sort of coconut oil um I just really like this one because of the applicator I like how you can just just go like this and put it straight in your roots it's um amazing I love coconut oil for my hair for my skin I have been using this since like I got home from the orphanage in India like my mom has just been literally having me use this since forever I love it it's amazing um, cannot say enough good things about coconut oil um, I just really like this one because of the applicator but you can get any brand um, one thing I do have to say use this before you um, go to bed do not put coconut oil all over your body and then try and go out and about unless like you're taking Instagram pics because you're gonna look like a little um, world greasy so um i really recommend using this um what i would do is i would put it in my hair like after my latest practice of the day whether it's like a night practice or if you just have a morning practice whatever you have um put it um at the end of your hair and then i would put it all over my body as well and then um sometimes even um if i noticed my hair would sometimes start to itch and things like that or like my roots would with af like being tied up in a swim cap it can be really uncomfortable and it can pull at your hair so with this applicator love it you can just go like this put it straight in your roots it's amazing and brush your hair out really well and then sleep and then when you wake up if you have morning practice um this is fine like it's not gonna make your cap slip off or anything so it's great and you can just leave it in and then just go about your business and wash your hair after practice or if you don't have anything in that morning like if you have school or something the next day if you only have night practices shower because it can look a little greasy but this is so nourishing so amazing um literally people have been using coconut oil for like forever it's great um and just make sure you use it at night so you don't look oily or greasy going out but it's great i love it and um i have one of these in my swim bag and i would have one like in my shower they're just awesome so cannot say enough good things with brushing your hair i have two main things that i use this is the it's by macadamia it's the natural oil i believe i got it with one of their hair oils a while ago but um this is just a wide tooth comb. Um, I have, as you can tell, very like wavy, like a little bit of like slight curls. It's more just very, very, very intense waves. Um, my hair and um, so this can be a little frustrating to use sometimes um, just because my hair will literally start to mat so bad. Like we'll have to go to a hairdresser, get out, it gets real bad sometimes. So use like i would really recommend getting in the routine of using this it's going to be a little frustrating because it's going to take a while to brush out your hair but it prevents breakage and it just helps you not rip so much hair out it's great i love it um this i would use after coconut oil or um i would leave it in my shower because i like to brush my hair before i get in the shower and then right when i get out and then um with being a swimmer i would brush my hair before i put it in a swim cap i've noticed i didn't really start doing that until high school but i noticed it helped so much with preventing breakage in my hair and preventing just like it getting super matted and like just kind of like gross like when i would take it out of the swim cap it helped so much so um if you are about to go swimming brush your hair before and then right when you get out before you go eat dinner or something it's literally going to change your life it's amazing so love this and then my all-time favorite my precious is my wet brush i love this i recommend this to literally everyone whether you are a swimmer whether you barely touch the water this is amazing like everyone can use this i highly recommend i'm sorry mine's a little gross um clearly i love it like the labels even coming off um i've been using a wet brush i'm for a couple of years now i've been using them since like i think very start of high school i love them they're amazing um i recommend getting a new one around every year year and a half just because they will start to get a little gross but it's so good it's just fantastic because it doesn't rip out your hair super bad um it's not as good as the wide tooth comb but if you are someone who's in a rush or does not have time to brush your hair or just like does not have that level of patience which is normally me most of the time this is amazing it's great um i love using this just as like my everyday brush too um i use it as an everyday brush and 
when my hair is wet and I have one in my swim bag I have one at my house at home one at my apartment in college they're amazing I love them I just never want to be without it like caught in a situation where I have wet hair and I'm like I need to brush it out it's looking real gross this is amazing love it cannot say enough good things I really really recommend this because you can get it at like CVS Walgreens, Target, Walmart, they're very inexpensive, so I really recommend them. And um, I don't think I've said this, but every product um, that I've talked about will be linked down below. And if it's sold out, I'll try and link the next best thing down below. Um, next, this is goes along with the brushing your hair. This is the Amika the Wizard Detangling Primer. This is really good. Um, I love it to use before I brush out my hair if I'm having a day where it's extra tangly. It's great, as you can tell, you can hear like there's not enough not not a lot left in here um i use it all the time it's great this is also really good if you are having to brush your hair like even when it's dry and it's looking kind of tangly this is great um i've always been a huge fan of detangler when i was little i would use the swab one the one with like the little animals on it um i love this it's really good um the um you can also use it before you heat style your hair but um, I primarily use it um, just to um, detangle my hair. So it's amazing. I love it. And one thing I really like is you can lock the, um, what is this? I guess like the sprayer. You can lock it so then you can travel with it. Like when you take it to swim meets or if you're just taking it to like a sleepover or something. Amazing. Love it. My last product is also by Mika. This is called the Curl Corpse Defining Cream. I, as you can tell, have naturally very wavy hair. This is my natural hair. Um, and if I put this in after I go swimming or something, my hair will literally be like almost ringlets, like curls. It's definitely defines whatever sort of wave or curl you have in your hair. It smells like, it smells like this product, like pretty much just like, very bougie hair care it smells really good i like it um it's uh i don't know it's 200 milliliters or 6.7 fluid ounces um so it's definitely a lot in here i know this product can be a little pricier but i like it it's um definitely really helped with like kind of having like the whole really nice beach wave curly hair look but i would primarily use this when i would get out of the pool and have to go do something i like either have to go to dinner or go grab lunch or even when you get out of the shower if you want to have a curly hair day this is what to use it's amazing it smells really good it's really hydrating i love it so this is my last product that i have and i'll make sure i link everything down below um some things i just have to say about um hair care is make sure that you are getting trims at least once or twice a year i would get my hair cut pretty much between every swim season i'm have like that like typical stereotype indian girl hair that grows very fast and i would pretty much cut almost six to eight inches off each time my hair grows extremely fast but it would be so damaged and i didn't realize it or maybe like my mom would make a few comments but i myself was like oh like it's not breaking off it's not damaged but now looking at it, I recently have cut around 8, almost 10 inches off my hair um, at the start of quarantine before everything shut down. I went and got my hair cut and I've noticed such a difference just having fresh hair and it took me a couple of years like once I got older to realize like you need to cut your hair and it sucks because I'm someone who loves to have like that long mermaid hair look but cutting your hair you just a couple trims like once or twice a year really made a difference with my hair and i think just having it look a lot healthier and with being a swimmer having super long and like as you can tell i have very thick hair being in a swim cap was a lot and it would just be a lot to put up in a swim cap and it would give me a headache sometimes so um i'm not saying you have to have short hair but just making sure you're staying on top of it and keeping your hair nice and healthy and um making sure you're cutting off those split ends is really gonna help and i know i have had colored hair in the past i love coloring my hair i think it's so fun but if you can avoid dyeing your hair or dyeing it very, like often that can really help with lack of damage and 
um, heat. I try and only put heat on my hair about once a week, maybe twice, because with being in a sorority, I do have events quite often, and I like to have my hair heat styled for those. But if you can avoid that as much as possible, it's really gonna help, especially with the combination of heat on your hair and chlorine or ocean water can be really intense. So yeah, I hope these products are all super helpful and I hope that you guys are able to get some of these if you are interested and I hope they help you. So yeah, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below. It would really support me. And if you guys are also interested, I have a ton of resources about the Black Lives Matter movement all down below that you can check out. Documentaries, places to donate, positions to sign, ways to educate yourself, all of that linked down below if you're interested. And I hope you're having a great afternoon morning or night. Bye everyone!